Welcome to day four of the 10 day creativity challenge, creating more love. Today's prompt is repetition. And I instantly thought about making some hearts since I am doing a Valentine's day card making with my, the art I create. Um, and I instantly thought about repeating hearts and what I love about toilet paper rolls. One of the things I love is how easy it is to create a heart using what normally would end up in the trash. And basically, you just pinch one of the edges and you kind of poke down the other edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can kind of try to shape it a little bit. So you can see there. And basically for my repetition, I'm just going to repeat this stamp in some various colors. Your repetition could be anything you want. So if you're following along on this creativity challenge, I hope that you are really exploring, playing around, getting to know some new tools. Um, mixed media day was super fun. I'm back to using my trusty leather paint. Ooh, that's a lot of purple. Now we're really getting into it. I would love to see what your repetition means. It can be a repeating pattern or a repeating shape. You know, you could do circles, but all different sizes. You can do the same size. Um, it can be a repeating color. Uh, like I said, for me, I'm just using my stents or my little toilet paper stamp. And I'm just repeating a bunch of hearts. I haven't really given it much thought on what the final card will look like, but that's the beauty about these prompts is it's not like you have to just do this one thing and that's it. You just, you put your spin on it and the whole card doesn't have to be repetition. It can just be part of it can be repetition. Maybe the sentiment is your repetition. It just says love, 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 or hi, 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 or hello, 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 whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to do, go ahead and do it. As I mentioned before, this is simply a challenge to help you bring more creativity and love into your life. It works wonders for me. And so I just figured I'd share and what I got going on, what I like to do. And there's just, there's something fun about a challenge that, you know, kind of gets that little bit of, a little bit of extra, um, I don't know if it's like a competitive nature or we just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And it's not even, you know, it's not even like we're competing against each other as much as it's, you know, kind of giving ourselves this challenge of can I do it for 10 days? Um, if you follow me on social media, you know that I'm in the midst of another 365, a year long daily challenge for myself with the daily messengers. Oh, look at that. Even just this is super cool. And, and it is. It's kind of like that first day. I don't know if I have it close by, but that first day I had sewn a little heart and it ended up looking like a balloon. And I was going, oh, yeah, this. This is super cool. And the play just allows you to explore. 
ideas that you never would have thought about doing yourself, but then you look at it and you go, oh, wow, this is cool. So just that experimentation really helps um, bring new ideas to the forefront. So yeah, that's this is my card making, my little art project for today. I will likely add a sentiment. I'm thinking the purple is coming through, so I will probably grab a purple card like I did. Um, I wonder if I have, oh yeah, I do. From day one. So I'll kind of probably do a purple border maybe. Okay, so the card base is dry and I am going to actually continue the repetition prompt and do three sentiments all saying love. I'm using this archival ink from Ranger. And basically I just have some scrap papers Nice. So you can see the other ink pad I had, it was not so clear. It was definitely a cheaper ink pad, which is great for certain things, just not this thing. The fine detail needs a little bit more. A little bit better ink pad. So I'm just gonna trim this down. And then I will just glue, ugh, okay. I'm gonna put, follow my own rules. Cutting that is for cutting, not for gluing or painting or anything else. I try to have at least one cutting mat that's strictly for cutting so it stays so it stays actually usable for its original intention. I can't help but think of the <laughs> Beatles song with this, just been singing it since I thought about it. Okay, get those kind of straight. And you can be a lot more precise um, with whatever you're doing. But for me, I really like just playing. And honestly, I really feel, I love, you know, I totally respect the very detailed, very um, technical creativity. But there's something about handmade and having it look like paintings look like they're a painting or crafts looking like they were handmade that I really enjoy. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this down. This is a four and a half by six. So let's see, since I have a measurement device, I will attempt to use it. What is that, about an inch and a quarter? Generally when I am creating stuff and kind of eyeballing, I will place the top and the bottom and then kind of figure out the middle from there.
it's a lot easier than if you put the middle down, you're going, uh-oh, by the time you get to the bottom or the top. Like I said, if you're eyeballing it, it's just a little trick to kind of help center without measuring. So I have trimmed that down. How cute is that? All right, glue this down and then we'll press it and I will have a picture of the final product. If you have joined in on this fourth day, repetition was the prompt. I'd love to see it. If you post it, tag me, hashtag 10 day creativity challenge or hashtag creating more love. I am following both of those. I would love to see your work. I would love to see your take on the prompt because it's amazing how different everything turns out. So cool. I love creativity. Alrighty, there you go. Can't wait to see what you created. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Let's be awesome together.